Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, elephants and squirrels, this is DJ Raviesta here on this episode of The Crew. Uh, it's gonna be just me for now, I'm gonna be talking about Terry Bogard and my impressions of him in Smash. So let's jump right into that. Okay, so to get us started, just a bit of context, I'm not gonna be talking about the technical things about Terry, really. Uh, as in, like, I'm not going to be talking about frame data or anything like that. Um, I'm just going to talk about what I think of him as a character and him being in the game. So, initially when Terry was revealed, I thought, eh, might not be too interested in this character. Seems like someone similar to Ken and Ryu. But, I was still excited for him as a, just, as a new character, as a new fighter for the game. People who know him well would be excited for him. Um, I'm not too big into King of Fighters, as in, like, I haven't really played the games. I played, um, Garo Mark of the Wolf, or Mark of the Wolves, I think. But long story short, I'm not into the series as much as some, uh, other fans could be. But, like I said, seemed like a cool addition to the Smash roster. Now, that changed, that impression of him changed, me just thinking of him as a, a character similar to Ken and Ryu. That changed when I saw the direct from Sakurai, the 45 minute one. And you know, I sat through it, I'm thinking, okay, all right, he's gonna explain the character a bit more, I'll be able to have a better understanding. Because remember, during the initial reveal, we only got, like what, one move from from uh, from Terry? Almost called him Ken there, people would kill me. Um, yeah, so Terry only showed off one move, I think, from his initial reveal. So this 45 minute direct really brought things into a different light. And after looking at it, I, while I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, okay, cool, I like Terry a bit more now. Seems interesting. The fact that he has so much combo potential just seems interesting to me. And the fact that he's similar, but not the exact same as Ken and Ryu. So just playing as Terry, honestly, really fun. My initial thoughts of Terry weren't, you know, Great. It's not that I didn't think well of him, like I said, it was just, I was sort of indifferent. But playing him is a lot of fun. The combos, the combos, like canceling into, into specials, is so rewarding to pull off. Like doing a jab and then going into an up B or into the power dunk thing. It is so much fun and I love it. Love it. And the fact that he also has these power move things, the ones where he, uh, when he, after he takes a sufficient amount of damage, I think it's 100%. Once he hits 100% damage, he's able to use these other kinds of moves that are much more powerful versions of his regular specials, which is in, an interesting addition to the to the game. Oh, also I forgot to mention he has an extra special uh, when it comes to his side specials. He has one that's based on if he's facing his opponent or not. So if you hit back away from your opponent and hit special, he does like this flippy kick thing. And it's different for when you do it towards the opponent. An interesting and cool addition, I have to say. But overall, Terry's awesome. I like him, I'm enjoying him. I didn't think I would before, or at least I didn't think I would as much as I am now. And he's honestly a character I could see being a secondary for me whenever I'm playing with my friends or something. So, that's all I gotta say on Terry, honestly. What do you guys think of Terry? Drop a comment for us down below. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. We'd sincerely appreciate that. And if you like the video, drop a like for us. We'd appreciate that as well. So, that's gonna be it for me, DJ Raviesta, here on this episode of The Crew on Rhinos Inc. Gaming. I will catch you guys later. Thanks for watching until the end. If you liked the video, hit that like button and share it with someone you think would like it too. We'd appreciate it. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more content like this. We upload at least two videos a week, so definitely subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay up to date. You can also find us outside of YouTube. Until next time, catch you later.